There's a story in the book of Genesis that you may have never noticed until now, but let me show you. Because in chapter 27, when Jacob took Esau's blessing from Isaac, when Esau found out, he blamed everyone else for what had happened to him, but never took responsibility for the part that he played in it. Because if he never sold his birthright, none of this would have happened. But as I studied this story, the Holy Spirit reminded me of an experience that I had over 15 years ago. When I went through one of the toughest breakups I had ever experienced in my life. It was one that almost destroyed me because instead of taking responsibility for the part that I played, I ended up blaming other people which allowed that mistake to give birth to many more mistakes. There's a reason why hurt people hurt people. And so I want you to check out this clip from our live Bible study sessions, which happens every single day except for Sundays between 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Because I share some powerful insights that will help you heal from those experiences that have been destroying the relationships and opportunities that are currently around you. Check this out. But the reason why I bring this up, hurt people hurt people, is because Esau at this point was still blaming others instead of taking accountability for the part that he played in this transaction. Because he did not deal with the first mistake, his mistake then birthed other mistakes. You know, it's funny, like when I was studying this, the Holy Spirit just reminded me of an experience that I had when I was in university. And I was dating this girl and she broke my heart. Like she shattered it to pieces, man. Like it was so bad that before her, I was one way. After her, I became a totally different person. Like before her, I was a lover boy. Like, oh my goodness, I'll go to the club. And if I had a very good conversation with a girl, like I'm already planning what our kids would look like, what our wedding would look like, like how, how it would look like as a married couple. After my experience with this girl, woo, that's when I became a playboy. So I went from a lover boy to a playboy and I began to treat other women the same way that this girl had treated me. Why? Because I was focusing on how the relationship ended. I wasn't focusing on why it started. I was blaming her for what happened, not taking accountability for why it even started in the first place. And this is what is happening with the whole alpha male situation, red pillars, where one woman has hurt you and now you are trying to hurt other women for what one person did to you. Goes the other way around. One man has hurt you. Now you're saying all men are scum because of what one man did. You have refused to take accountability for the part that you played in that situation. You are focusing on how the relationship ended and not why it started. You need to take accountability. Esau right here is upset at the world, but he's not taking accountability for selling his birthright in the first place. Because all this happened because you did that. And so my healing came when I realized, when the Holy Spirit began to take me through a journey of why I got into that relationship in the first place. And the moment I was able to get clarity on that situation, I, I got my closure. And I was able to heal from it. I realized because, I mean, and this is where my spec came from. If you've heard my story, like I had a spec that I was looking for. And because I dated this girl, for some reason, like this girl was gorgeous. She was the first gorgeous girl, like beautiful, that I had dated. But why did the breakup feel as bad as it did? The Holy Spirit had to take me back. Why did you get into this relationship in the first place? And I realized that it was because up until that point, I didn't feel seen. I had a lot of insecurities. People are always like, oh my goodness, like, well, why, well, like why are you so open? It's because I've healed. You know, I have an injury here, here, I think. Right? I had this injury when I was younger. But guess what? When I poke it, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. People are scared to share what has happened to them because they still haven't healed. You're sharing about that situation from your past and you still feel embarrassed about it because it hasn't healed. This is a wound that I've had. Now I touch it, it feels like my skin, like nothing ever happened. That's why I feel so comfortable sharing about my past because I've healed from it. The Holy Spirit told me you had a lot of insecurities and you still have a lot of insecurities at that time that I was dealing with it. 
You said you've never accepted yourself. If you know me, I'm five foot four, five foot five. I'm a short guy. Now I'm okay with it. Back then, what? I was looking for every way to be tall because my self-esteem was attached to being tall. I'd seen how people who were taller were treated. At the time I was in the world, I'd seen how taller guys seemed to get all the nice girls that I wanted. So I'm like, if I can just get taller, then I'll be able to get the rewards that I get. So that made me very insecure. I felt like, you know, I wasn't really the smartest in school. I was short. I didn't feel like I was handsome at the time. So in my mind, I'm like, why would any girl want me? All of a sudden, I get into a relationship with this girl. Beautiful, like, all of a sudden, because I'm with this girl, I begin to get attention. Now, my friends are coming to me saying, bro, how did you get this babe? Other ladies are looking at me thinking, who is this guy? <laughs> like, how did he get her? I remember one time I went to KFC and I think the person was, uh, the, the server or the waiter was on the thingy and as soon as she came up, she was like, oh, wow. Like when she saw my girlfriend at the time, she was like, oh, wow. Like she was, so in my mind, I'd built my identity on being with this girl because being with her finally made me feel seen. So regardless of what she did, even though I'd seen all the red flags, I still stuck with it because I was benefiting from this relationship. For the first time, I was being seen. I felt like I was being seen. People were looking at me different. And so when she broke up with me, it was worse. Like, people would be like, man, it's just a breakup. No, it was different. It was different for me. The Holy Spirit had to open my eyes that this is why the relationship started in the first place. It should never have started. If you were secure in who you were, this relationship should never have started. And so the healing came when I realized that God made me short for a reason. You have to accept yourself. People are insecure because deep down you believe God made a mistake with you. God doesn't make mistakes. He told me you were made perfectly for the assignment I've created for you. That was where my healing came from. Maybe someone needs to heal from that. I know a lot of women are dealing with insecurity issues. Oh, I don't have, like, my boobs aren't big enough. My, my bum isn't big enough. Like, I'm not pretty enough. God made you exactly the way he made you for a reason. Accept that. And you see how things will just begin to open up. You heal. Men are saying, oh, I don't, like, I'm not tall enough. I'm not this. I'm not that. Like, I'm not handsome enough. Bro, like, you have a reason why God has made you the way you, you are. The moment you accept yourself. I watched a video the other time and, and I was just laughing at myself. Because me back then, I would have done it. I saw a guy who, there's this procedure now, surgery, where you, you can, they break your bones to make you taller. Bro, I would have done it if it was available 15 years ago. When I was in uni, my one of my friends and I, we like we, we were researching how to get taller. We, we bought these pills online. Like When I think back now, I'm like, look at how much I could have done anything just to attain this thing. But God, you have to take me through the journey that don't focus on how it ended. Focus on why it started in the first place. If not, you're going to keep repeating the cycle. And that's what happened. I kept on trying to date the same type of girl to repeat that feeling that I had. To make sure that when people see me, they're asking themselves, how did this guy get this girl? That was all I was interested in. Because once I had gotten that hit, I always wanted to repeat it. And guess what happens? When you go through something like that, you build walls to protect yourself. But you don't realize that those same walls that you've built to protect yourself is also going to prevent the solution and the healing that you need. The same wall 
that you've put up to protect yourself is the same wall that is going to prevent the healing from coming in. Oh, how did you get here? Mm, mm, mm. So Esau, back to it, Esau, instead of taking accountability, decided to blame others. And that is why the anger, his mistake then led to other mistakes. And that's what usually happens. When you don't deal with the root problem, you are going to keep trying to pluck fruits. And you're going to be dealing with the wrong problem instead of dealing with the root problem. So your mistake will give birth to more mistakes, which is what Esau did here. Because he didn't take accountability, he then went on and married an Ishmaelite. Mm. Thanks so much for watching. You know, recently I started doing a live Bible study class every single day between 6 to 7 p.m. on TikTok and YouTube. And so if you are ready to discover the things that are hidden underneath what is written, then definitely join us. It's been an amazing experience so far. We're currently studying the books of Genesis. And then right after, we're going to go into the four Gospels, the book of Acts, and the letter of Paul to the Romans. And I believe that is critical because so many people are looking for direction in life. What is my purpose? The Bible says that that your word is like a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Revelation is going to be your most critical asset as a Christian. And so definitely check it out. All the live replays are currently on YouTube. So if you haven't seen them, I'll suggest and recommend that you go check them out. Thanks again for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.